know you guys are all really bored with this. Uh, we're not really happy about it either. It's not fun to do this. Um, it's not fun to feel threatened all the time. Um, but the reason that I brought about or brought forward the claim of personal biases, and it was misinterpreted as to what I said, um, what I understood from my agent and what is in writing from my agent was not that the mayor was warning the buyer that there was a possibility of a change, but he said that there would be a change, that they would not be allowed to rent more than 30 days. Um, and what that states to me is that he's already made up your mind, that you don't have the opportunity to vote as a council. And I, I find that unconscionable. I also understand that this property is in multifamily residential and right on the coast as per the um, previous maps that had been put out would have been in, in a zone in which it would be called a VR zone. But because you have a personal bias and you've already made up your mind, he told this person that they would not be able to rent the property for more than 30 days. <laughs> I'm amazed. You know, you, you, can, you can give disclosure, but not say, this has already been made up and I'm the mayor. <laughs> so um, that's the reason I brought that up. Um, when asked, and this whole thing, if you would read the letter that I wrote, because I, I don't have time to read the whole thing right now, it talks about the conclusions that the, the line keeps moving as to why you want to do this. Number one, a problem has not been um, truly answered. When asked what the real problem is, there was never a viable answer given. One answer was that VRDs limit the amount of affordable housing in the city. The average working resident in Lincoln City can afford a home between 125 and 150,000. Most homes used as vacation rentals are either at or near desirable attractions like the ocean lake or golf course, and whether used as a vacation rental or not would not be in that price range. Then the problem was changed to the availability of month-to-month -month rentals. The city, through its steady increases in system development charges and a myriad of hoops the developer has to jump through, along with a sluggish economy and much tighter financing requirements, has effectively stunted the development of affordable housing either for purchase or rental in the city. Then the problem was changed to residential housing versus other types of property based on their use, i.e. zoning, which is what we've been talking about. Since the council is defining VRDs as businesses, they are saying that the current VRDs are attracting are detracting from our available residential housing, which be, would be a violation of Luba's housing inventory goals. These homes can still be sold as, as personal residences or as rentals, and Luba does not agree with your definition. Um, so I can only conclude that there is a personal bias driving this decision. And there is much more in this that I would love to be able to say, but you probably already heard it, have already made up your minds, and, you know, what does it matter?